Hey guys, this is Joe Hildreth here from MyHeat.com and welcome to part two of the Titch uh, water pump or hand pump build. So in the first episode we uh, bent up the frame, drilled some holes, uh, reamed a few holes and then done the pump tube. So um, I think I also told you that I had ordered some taps and dies and I ordered those uh, from a company called Tracy Tools uh, Limited in England. And uh, interesting story, uh, real quick, if you've seen my last shop update, uh, you know what happened. But essentially, um, the package arrived and there were no taps and dies in it where the package had come open and it was labeled that it was rewrapped by the, by the uh, or rewrapped in the U.S. or whatever. So I contacted them and they were nice enough to send out some replacements. So the build talks about using uh, 316 by 40 and quarter by 40 taps and that's what I have here and uh, again like I said I bought these from these not been open so um, Tracy tools and I got the die so I got everything I need now I probably could have used uh, the nearest equivalent um, na US national fine or something like that and probably would have been okay but um, I'm hoping in the future to do some more model engineering stuff and I just thought it would be kind of nice to have the correct taps and dies for it that way if somebody wanted, wanted to use it or if I wanted to buy something commercial there'd be something there that would fit it so anyway that's that so in uh, this episode I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on uh, the pump assembly here and um, we'll start with uh, our you know I think it's called the valve box this is what he calls it and we're going to start with this little piece right here. Now this is a piece of 7 16 brass. Okay, it's going to be turned down uh, to a snug fit inside our pump tube. And then uh, drilled through uh, number 40. And we're going to turn around and turn this down uh, for 3 16 by 40 thread on here that will screw into the rest of the pump body. So let me get this uh, piece of brass here set up in the lathe and I'll meet you over there. Okay, so I have the brass bar chucked in the three jaw chuck. Uh, so I've got to stick out of about an inch. I'm going to face this off uh, real light. And then I'm going to, um, I've got this little 90 degree stubby bit here. Uh, it's three millimeter uh, to, to just peck it for the drill. And then I'm going to drill number 40. So hopefully that's in the camera because I can't really see what's going on here. So. All right, so uh, let me get this faced off and let's get it going. Okay, that's drilled about a half inch through. Should give us enough. All right, so now we're gonna let me, I'm gonna get set up here. We're gonna turn this down to three sixteenths um, so that we can tap that. No, I'm sorry. We're not. We're gonna turn that down to about three eighths so that it's a tight fit in the um, pump body right here. So um, let me get. Uh, let me get set up for that and I'll bring you right back in. Okay, so I've changed tools and I've marked this about 3 16 back. I don't think it's really critical. So all I want to do is I want to touch off and turn this down until I have a nice snug fit in uh, this tube here. So let's get started. Alright, so we got an initial cut on there. Let's see how big that is. Okay. Alright, so we look at to be at about four twenty-seven. And I need to be at 
375. All right, so I'm going to take light passes on this, and then uh, when I get down to the uh, uh, when I get this turned down, I'll bring you back in. Okay, uh, you know I broke my little magnetic camera mount thing, so I'm sort of fighting with the camera. All right, so this uh, I got about six thou more or less to take off, and then we can. Uh, I should be pretty close, so let's take that off and see what happens. see where we're at remember the uh, pump barrel was reamed at 375 or 3 8 of an inch and looks like I'm at 376 so that would technically be a press fit depending on how this and that is just wanting to start So I think what I'm going to do is just lightly touch this with a file. Notice I am using the handle there. That's a nice firm fit in the tube. Okay, sorry about my phone. I forgot to mute it. All right, so I'm going to change setups. I'm going to get this in a collet, and uh, I'll bring you back in. Well, I guess I lied to you. I'm a dirty liar. <laughs> Got Before I can put this in a collet, I need to part it off. So I've marked it back 3 16ths of an inch. Uh, or 3 8 overall and got my tool squared up and let's get this parted off. Alright so there we go it's parted off hopefully that's in focus. That's parted off I just need to knock the burr off and I will kiss it real light on the back side to bring it down to my layout line. So when I get it set back up I'll bring it right back in. Okay, so I've uh, parted the piece off, I faced it down, and I put it in a collet, got it ready. I have a uh, stop set so that I'm only cutting about an eighth inch. That'll leave about a sixteenth of an inch um, flange on the back. This will get turned down to three sixteenths and will be threaded three sixteenths by forty. So, um, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to keep banking passes like that. When I get down close to the end, I'll bring you back in. Okay, I'm at 189. Uh, 187 and a half is 3 16 but I want to take a little bit off. So I'm just going to take a whisper off here so it's uh, just a little shy. Of 3 16 All right, let's check that. So I'm at uh, 175, 85, 86, 87, 88. I'm exactly at 3 16 Tell you what, I, I'm just going to, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave it there. Let me get things uh, ready to set up to thread this and uh, bring it right back in. Well, I know that you can't really tell it, but I started to thread that and there's threads there, but it just doesn't look quite right so we'll have to you know, I'll have to see how this is going to work out um, I may have to remake this part I'm thinking that maybe um, turning that at exactly 187 thousandths where it was a little a little much I should have shaved a few thousandths off of it made it a little light and then went from there so 
we'll see. Um, the next part that uh, gets made is very similar to this. It's, I'll uh, bring you over to the bench and let's let's take a look. Okay, so this is the part here. Get a pointer. Oops. So this is the part here that I just made, right? And this is a uh, thread 316 by 40, but it looks a little funky to me. Um, I might have to remake this. We'll see. But the next part I want to make is is this is basically just going to drill this through, put a little cone on the end, and um, tap it. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Cut threads uh, 316 by 40 on the back, so it can screw into the main pump housing and then quarter by 40 threads on the outside. So I'm, I'm actually gonna work on this piece here off camera. When I get them done, I'll bring you back in. Okay guys, <laughs> this is really all I managed to get done today, right? This one piece, you see it's right here. This uh, goes into the body of the housing, right? And then this gets screwed into the, to the uh, pump valve. Now. The reason why I'm stopping here, because I told you a while ago I was going to go ahead and make this part and then come back, is that uh, if we can get a good look at this, maybe, you'll see that those threads tore right away, okay? Um, the hole drilled through it, made it quite weak. So um, there's uh, two things that I'd done wrong, right? Now, would the hole had mattered I don't know but probably that hole leaving such a thin wall here probably should have been left to last this one here you see turned out pretty good okay so this is that's the keeper part but now um, the very first thing I done was I chucked a piece of uh, for this one here I checked the piece of uh, 7 16 inch brass I turned this down to 3 8 so it was a good snug fit in the in the tube and uh, and then turned it over and I put it in a 3 8 collet now the collets that I'm using some of you guys are gonna laugh are two Morse taper collets so there's a 3 8 and there's a 3 16 maybe it'll show up 3 16 um, but now my headstock is a 3 Morse taper right so I use a 3 to 2 Morse taper sleeve so gonna be a little bit out yeah but this is not really exactly a precision part that we're making here. It's just a pump. So the second way that I done it was I went ahead and turned down about a quarter inch um, 3 16 Now the first one I was right on 3 16 This one here I cut down about eh, three or four thousandths smaller. Okay. And then I went ahead and threaded it with the die. And then parted it off to length and then turn around and I put this in and the 3 16 inch call it face this part here down or turn this part here down to the to the fit on the uh, onto the tube and then drilled it that seemed to work pretty good except that now when I got toward the end the uh, the grill the drill grabbed right which can be expected it's brass um, sort of spun it in the uh, collet so I just went ahead and stopped and pulled it out and I knew I was deep enough that when I parted this down to size I was okay and then I just run the die back over and it was good so so the first problem I think being a newbie and all was that I should have knocked a few thousandths off where I was going to have the 316 thread okay and the other one is a matter of tooling. Okay, so here you see it's a 316 by 40 model engineering high speed steel die. And uh, interestingly enough, this die is tapered on both sides. Okay, I don't know. can you tell that? I don't know if you can tell it. It's tapered there and it's tapered there. Okay, um, but now what I noticed is this is the only tap handle I got for this small size die and you see there's a gap there in the back so I didn't have these tight enough and it caused that to cock and when that cocked I think that's what grabbed and tore that little spigot off right because if you look if I can get it to focus 
it, it tore it off and it's all kitty wampus off to the side so I think that's what happened so I'm gonna stop this and, and post this now and and uh, just for you other newbies out there um, pay close attention to your tooling and its alignment and sizes if you're gonna cut a, a very small thread like this it, uh, it pays to have it just a couple two or three thousand under I, I can't believe I I can't I don't remember if I was three thousandths under or four thousandths under I was either at 185 185 thousandths or 184 thousandths I can't remember but anyway that's gonna work because when we drill the hole in the side of the uh, main pump body that a thread in there and then everything will get soldered up afterwards so on the next video I'm going to continue on with the pump body there's two caps to make the body uh, gets a couple balls um, to seat these are got to be fairly closely drilled and then there's a part here where this is the outlet so I'll pick it up from there. there's not a whole lot uh, to this thing I'll have a uh, have a rod to do uh, if somebody can give me some information on how to I'm going to put a would like to put an o-ring in there so if somebody can give me some information on o-rings or where to find it um, let me know and I did just recently get a little black book so maybe it's in there I do have a machinery's handbook <laughs> maybe it's in there everything's in there right um, so that's where I'm gonna let it let it go so hey guys uh, thanks for watching and and taking the time to spend with me I appreciate it I, I know that I haven't had many shop videos coming out lately because of uh, other things in life going on so hopefully we can get this pump done so that we can get this little engine running uh, the engine uh, does run or is, is pretty smooth so it uh, I think it's going to do just just fine just need to pressure test this boiler here and and uh, move on to bigger and better things so um, other than that have a blessed day